Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a zombie game in Game Maker. And in the last tutorial, we were going over pathfinding for our enemy. And uh, yeah, so let's continue on that. So it's so right now what we got is if our moving variable has been set to true, uh, our current point is incremented every time that uh, this if statement is going on. And I'm not going to go over that because it was in the last tutorial, and it's just going to con continually step towards the current point. So now, uh, okay, we want uh, it to be able, so when it reaches uh, the point, or the end, the end point is going to clear the path and make moving equal to false. So, Basically, if it's reached its destination, it's just basically going to stop. And the way we're going to do this is uh, we're going to use the point distance method. So if the point distance between the the player's or the enemy's position and a uh, point or path, yeah, path, path. Sorry, my sister's talking. I'm going to close. Okay, back to the back to the tutorial. So uh, we want to use get the paths uh, x and y the current the end path so basically the last point in the path so just get the path get uh, point x and we want to get hat the variable path and we want uh, the index to be the last index so we want to get max points minus one and this will basically, the index or the points start at point zero. So if you have uh, three points, the points will be point zero, point one, and point two. So that's why we're uh, subtracting by one. Half get point y for y. And then half, and then actually I have to make another new line for you guys to see it. And then we want to get max points uh, minus one. Okay, so oh, this takes another argument. I think no, it doesn't. We just have to go like this. Okay, for the if statement, what is happening? Why is it giving me an error? Okay, I don't know. But anyways, we want to do if point distance is smaller than your reach. Remember that was the variable we have in our create event, our reach. So basically, if the point is within reach of the of the enemy, oops. oh, that's why I was giving an error because I didn't have uh, the curly braces. So is is within reach. So if basically the final point is within reach of the uh, enemy or zombie, it's going to stop. And the way we're going to stop it is we're going to put a path underscore clear points in path. So it's going to clear all the points in path. So And we also want to set moving equal to false because he no longer has to move. Okay, so we basically got our first part of that code uh, right. Okay, now we're going to make another piece of this code. So that's this is the first piece. Now is the second part. Uh, actually, right above here, actually, I'm just going to put this as variables. Uh, we're just going to put another statement here. If instance exists, and then we want to check if our object man exists. And the reason we just want to we want to do this is to check for error or just to prevent errors, because if for some reason the man doesn't exist right away it can error out and crash so we don't want that so just to be safe we're gonna do it like this so I'm gonna make a new variable called target and target equals object man yeah or you can do uh, instance nearest we'll basically just find the closest instance but it's fine we just leave it like that and then uh, so the reason why I'm doing it is it's, it's just easier to uh, call the object man target because that's the enemy's target. So if he has multiple targets, we can easily change it. 
So if target, if instance exists, target, again we're doing this uh, so we catch all the errors. It's not as many errors. So if instance exists, oh, I spelled that wrong. And we want to put another if statement here. And this is where it, this is where it can get a little bit confusing. We're, instead of putting something like, oh, if this value equals this value, or if this value is greater than this value, we're going to actually put a, a function or a method inside this if statement. And what that will do is actually just, if the method returns a boolean, uh, which is either true or false, and each method, every method has a return type, like, uh, you see this point distance return type uh, ter returns a number, but this this method returns a uh, boolean. So, so MP is called MP grid path, and this will basically just set your path. So we want to set our grid here and our path at this as the first two uh, starting arguments, and then our then the next argument is going to be our x start, which is basically uh, where we're starting from, which is our and that goes without saying our x and y, and our the next arguments are x goal and y goal, and that that is basically just where you want to go, and well we want to go to the targets x and y, so pretty self-explanatory target x target y, and the final one actually let me move the camera is it's a it's a variable saying does it do you want to allow diagonals which basically means uh, do you want to allow your path to cut corners and stuff like that and we're just going to set this to true because yeah that's fine if we cut corners and stuff okay so basically it's going to return a true if this works basically or if that finishes because pathfinder can take a while so once it finds a new path moving will equal true because we want to start moving again oh sorry it's getting loud again sorry about that man it, I can't make a tutorial <laughs> my sister's talking the gardeners are mowing the lawn and ambulance trucks are coming by that's crazy oh well anyways uh, let's oops that was too many tabs okay let's move this back let's continue on our uh, little script here so we want to set moving uh, moving to true and uh, what else we want to set uh, sorry it's getting loud okay so sorry so another thing we want to do is set the current point to uh, no, not to false to zero so that's this is basically going to just reset uh, our current point to zero to start at the beginning and then we want to set reset the max point so max points equal path uh, I think it's path let's see path get number maybe uh, I forget path yeah I think it's get number path get number and then just put in our path for that and that should be good so if we actually go and test this let's see what happens uh, actually, I'm just going to minimize all the stuff so you don't have to see all this stuff right here okay I'll play it okay uh, where is it okay so Oh, it doesn't know what grid size. Oh, I accidentally <laughs> didn't put an underscore there. Okay. So, just go into our create event, and uh, I'm just going to put an underscore there because I forgot to. That's why it was giving me an error. Okay, loading, loading. Okay. So, and as you can see, okay, they're acting dumb for some reason. Okay, 
Well, we're gonna modify the code later in later tutorials. And as you can see, I made like a little bit uh, more arena style area. I placed our boxes like here. So this is basically how the game's gonna run. I put like spawners outside of it, and I'm gonna make them spawn at a uh, much lower rate because they're spawning way too fast. So, uh, yeah. So we're gonna do that in the next tutorial because we're running out of time. So uh, thank you for watching, I uh, appreciate the rating, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.